Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley here, and today I am going to be showing you how to validate a credit card using Python. So let's get right into it. The basic theory of validating a credit card is we're going to be using the Loon algorithm, and this is a form of check digit validation. And what we do is, starting from the right, double every other digit. If it's greater than 9, mod 10, and then add 1 onto the remainder. After that, we add up all the digits. Then, if the number is a multiple of 10, it's valid, otherwise it's invalid. So let's get into how we code this. So basically, I've got a bunch of print statements here. And each one has got a fake, but valid credit card. We've got different formats like Amex, Visa, MasterCard, and a couple others. I can't keep up, there's so many of them. So let's go and define this is valid card number function. The first thing we want to do is we want to do def is valid card number and input. So we're defining the function, it's going to be called is valid card number, and it takes in one parameter, and we're going to call it input because it's going to represent the user's input. So basically, the next step is we're going to be converting this input into an integer array, but we're also going to reverse this integer array. So we can use this line of code to reverse the array input equals input square bracket colon colon minus one square bracket and after that we can then convert that into an integer array where each number has its own element so we can do input equals int x for x in input and this converts it into an integer array so we can easily interact with each number of the credit card the next thing we're going to do is we are going to do this for loop so we're going to do for i in range one len input and two and what this is going to do is this is actually going to allow us to iterate through every other element in this list because that's how we do the loon algorithm and then what we can do is we can do input i times equals two because we need to double it then we're going to check if it's greater than nine if it's greater than nine we then mod that digit by 10 and then add one onto the remainder which we can do with this line of code which is input i equals input i percent 10 plus one and we're going to do this for every other digit in this credit card number so after that loop we are then going to do total equals sum input so we put sum and then bracket input bracket and this is going to add up every element in this integer array this will factor in all of the changes we made when we were multiplying by 2 and modding by 10 and adding 1 on, if anything was greater than 9. And we're just going to add up everything that's currently in this array. After that, we are then going to do return total mod 10 equals 0. So, the final step is, after we've added up all the digits, is that sum of all the digits a multiple of 10? If it is, it's valid, otherwise it's invalid. We can use the mod operator to check if there's a remainder or not. If there's a remainder, that means it's not a multiple of 10. If there's no remainder, then it is a multiple of 10 and therefore valid. So we can do return total percent 10 equals zero. And that's it for this tutorial. So we're going to save and then hit play because we've got a bunch of valid credit card numbers. And it's true. So if you want any valid credit card numbers to test on that aren't real credit cards. There's a link in the description called Credit Card Validator, even lets you validate credit cards, but you don't need to do that because you've got this tutorial. So that's all good. Um, I'm going to remove all of these and I'm going to plonk in some random numbers, let's say. There you go, there's some random numbers. If any of these are valid, then I am lucky. But they're not because they're all invalid because I just hit random stuff on the keyboard. So, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you want more Python tutorials to help you get an A in your coursework or exam. Thanks for being a great audience.